either a leader or a follower of some really good leaders. And I guess it's just a passion I had, like I had the passion for flying when I was younger. And so once we had part processors, I realized I actually could write a book and, and share those ideas. And then because of my experience as a prisoner of war in Vietnam, that's a story a lot of people want to know about. And so I combined in my last two books, combined the stories from the POW camps and the great leadership we have with stories from today's workplace and, and as with leaders also. And, and you talk about that. You were a POW during the Vietnam War. Your plane was shot down. But you went back to serving after you got out. What, what inspired you to go back and keep stay in the ranks even after your time as a POW? Yeah, well, I think I kind of saw myself as a military guy and as an officer in the Air Force and, and of course, flying. Uh, that was my dream growing up, going to the University of Georgia. I was in Air Force ROTC. I got my private pilot flight from there to Epsteel in Athens. So uh, when they offered me the opportunity to go back and requalify for flying, I jumped right on it. And I was able to have a really good flying career all the way up through flying squadron commander. So it was very rewarding. So it was just part of who I was, you know? Oh, absolutely. And uh, we're speaking with uh, Colonel Lee Ellis here, our team UGA honoree here today. And, and Colonel, we were talking a little bit before we came on here about your motivational speaking. Can you just tell the folks a little bit about your motivational speaking and, and what you kind of try and get across to people? Yeah, when the 2012 book came out, it's called Leading with Honor, Leadership Lessons from the Hanoi Hilton. I realized that, you know, for marketing a book, you've got to get out and speak, so I became a professional speaker. So in the last uh, four or five years, I've kind of been all into Europe, into Asia, and around the U.S. quite a bit. But I really share the, 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 le the lessons about courage and character and commitment, and then also about leading yourself by guarding your character and being positive and being resilient and then leading others by developing your people and building a culture in your organization. Those kind of things that uh, as a leadership consultant now for 18 years, those are the kind of things that I see that they that people really need who are in leadership roles. And so I tie the stories from the POW camps to the stories from my current clients and have that lesson there. And it has really worked well. And we're speaking with Commerce Native Colonel Lee Ellis. And Colonel, highly decorated from your years of service to this country and an inductee of the Georgia Military Veterans Hall of Fame. What does an honor like that mean to you? Well, it means a great deal. You know, I don't see myself as a hero. I see myself as a guy who just did his best to do his duty. And I'd say probably most of the people in the, who are veterans uh, feel the same way. But to be picked to be in that was very, very uh, exciting for me. I felt so very honored uh, to be in that group. Uh, there's some great, great uh, people there. And to be a part of that was very, it was just a, a real lifetime achievement type thing for me. Well, Colonel, we're proud to have you as part of Team UGA. And thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you, Eric. And go dogs. Colonel Lee Ellis, a fantastic American. Proud to have him as part of Team UGA.